What's up everyone, Adam here with P3. I just wanted to do a little walk through the garden. Um, just getting close, we're getting the, everything prepped up and raring to go for things to be transplanted. Um, I'm doing some pre-work on the dirt and the soil, getting my trees uh, rewatered and everything. And then I'll get some good soil to top up the beds um, and then Hopefully within the week or two, I can get everything out here and ready to go. Let me flip things around so you can see everything. So I changed up the gate a little bit because the dogs would not leave it alone. So since I've changed this out, um, it's been a lot better keeping the dogs out. Um, I can lock it up if I want to and they can't really pop it open. Um, I decided to move my beds around a little bit. I kept the four main ones here in the middle. I took the one that was along the fence and scooted it over here. Um, I thought maybe getting it away from the wood fence is probably a good idea. Um, I took out the one in the corner where it had the cucumbers and I moved it on that side and I'll show you here in a second. So I've got this bed here. It's got drip irrigation all along it. it runs into the tomato area and then I have this one set up this is where my lemon drops were last year and did really well um, I guess they like the uh, soaker tubing so that's good this is where I had my super hots last year and like I said I put some fertilizer in the dirt so it's just soaking in over time I've got that one over there and then this one right here so I actually found quite a bit of frogs uh, in my dirt this year, which is really interesting because I'm not next to water. So I think they just like the water from the, the drip irrigation, which is really cool. I had toads last year, but I've had frogs popping out of the dirt, which is really interesting. This is where I'm gonna have the um, cucumbers. So thinking of maybe having it straight up and not go into um, the corner and the shade cloth, it might work out a little bit better. And it will help cool off the peppers on uh, midday sun once it's on the other side. This is the greenhouse. Um, it, I planted some peppers in here to try to overwinter and I thought that they completely failed. Um, but what I found is this guy is growing something. And I found that this one, which is a lemon starburst, is growing something. And I found this one, which is an orange, orange ripple, which is also growing something. Now, I still have the, the trunks, because they are thick enough to be called trunks, in here for the rest of them. I do not know what some of them are actually called. But uh, here's hoping that they actually come back to life, because then they are already uh, set up with the roots. And... Maybe I can get a head start on them. I didn't get any lemon starburst last year, so I'm really hoping that I can get those because they're tasty. These are green onions I planted like a year ago, just from like the ends of store-bought ones. And not only have they kind of gone insane, lived through the winter without any issues, but now they are flowering. So as these dry up, they'll just hopefully drop seeds down in there and keep it going. Cause you know, who doesn't like good fresh onion? Let me go over to the trees so you guys can see the trees. All right, so we're in the little orchard area. I'm just gonna start from the left to right. This is our Celeste fig. Um, it has been going on for a few years at this point and it's actually doing really well. So very tasty fig. Uh, not everybody is a, a fan of figs, but uh, this is a very sweet, creamy fig. Like I always love coming out here and seeing things lay eggs on my stuff. <laughs> so if you know what that is, let me know in the comments. This is unfortunately my blood orange tree. I think it's dead. You say it's growing green at the bottom, but that is where the graft was. So pretty sure that this one is a goner. As is this guy. This is my avocado tree. It's growing green at the bottom again, but that's where the graft is, so it's not actually a fruiting tree. 
I thought that this one was gonna be dead, but look at that, new life. This is my cuties, my, my Clementine tree. I love these, it tastes so good last year. And it was only the first year, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna do really well. My pomegranate bush is just taking off. Um, I might have to figure out what I need to do with this because it's like doubled in size over the last week. Uh, lots of green. Um, as is my peach tree. This thing is growing so well. I hope that it gives me lots of peaches because I don't like peaches and I like these. They are super tasty. Um, actually, look at that. They already has some. That's so cool. So I think this is gonna be a good year for this peach tree. Go over here. This is my pecan tree. And I thought it was dead as well, but boom, there's life. Um, still, still pretty young. It's only a couple of years old. This is the loquat tree bush. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, loquat. It's kind of like a kind of like a plum. It's very tasty. It does well here in San Antonio. Another pomegranate, and sadly. This is my ice cream banana tree. The big tree that was in the middle did not survive. It turned into a gooey mess. I'm still hoping that this one right here lives, but we will see. But, you know, these have already doubled in size over the last two days. So if anything, let's just hope that they have a good year and they take off and I could actually get some bananas. That'd be amazing. But uh, yeah, that's my garden update, my orchard update my awesome big tree in the backyard yeah there it is thanks for uh watching the video and uh hopefully i'll have a whole lot more coming up here soon and if you like it uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks very much have a good one guys